Welcome to Just Now News. Cricket fans in the United States rejoice. Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman and representatives from the International Cricket Council unveiled a 34,000 seat temporary cricket stadium and its hosting schedule for the 2024 T20 Cricket World Cup, which begins this June. The privately funded stadium, which has already began construction, is expected to be completed by May 20th. It will be built in Eisenhower Park, located in Nassau County, Long Island, New York, and it's going to be larger than any cricket stadium in the United Kingdom even, the birthplace of the game. It's currently being called Nassau County International Cricket Stadium. The building will be the finest cricket facility as far as the field is concerned, said the T20 Cricket World Cup Development Director Don Lockerbie. In 120 days, we'll be done with construction. It's a temporary facility, but the ICC elected to do something large and big, and we couldn't be more proud that we're doing it right here in Nassau County, said Lockerbie. The venue was designed by the same firm that designed City Field as well as Yankee Stadium, Populous, and they will host eight group stage matches before the tournament transitions to the West Indies for the knockout stages. For those fans who are looking to score tickets, you can reach out to the ICC, the International Cricket Council. And important dates to take note of, of course, will be the starting match, which will take place on June 3rd, Sri Lanka versus South Africa. And of course, another notable date for our viewers, June 9th, when India versus Pakistan will be hosted in this stadium. Once again, the state-of-the-art facility will be a temporary facility being dismantled in July, but organizers have vowed to leave behind state-of-the-art practice as well as equipment gear for local folks to take advantage and to strengthen their game of cricket while enjoying these facilities in Eisenhower Park. Once again, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman, along with the rest of his team, shared how this stadium will not just be a boon for the local communities, but a huge boost to the revenue for Nassau County and won't cost taxpayers anything. In fact, it'll add to their revenue stream. And with this, I want to take you to see some scenes from the press conference where the stadium was unveiled. There are going to be matches. They're going to be sold out. They're going to be sold out. And, and the fact of the matter is, we are going to make sure that everybody in Nassau County gets to experience this awesome event. So we will have sites throughout Nassau County with big screen TVs, a festive uh, area with uh, food trucks that will give everybody an opportunity who may not be able to get into the stadium to enjoy the matches and, and share in the excitement of this event. We are going to send invitations to every world leader that is having a match here. We're hoping that they can join us. We already know there'll be a lot of diplomats. We already know that there are, there's tremendous amount of interest from around the world in, in using our restaurants, our great facilities like the other one right here. And uh, again, we, we expect that this, this will be uh, something that is extremely successful. Good afternoon, County Executive. A fantastic initiative you guys got going on here. This is such a huge build. How are you going to draw South Asians from outside of Nassau County to come here to participate and attend these matches? Well, everybody's welcome to come. There'll be people coming from around the world, and there'll be people coming from the metropolitan area to take part in this great tournament. So um, we welcome everybody here in Nassau County. We actually encourage you to come. And as I said, even for those who won't be able to get in the stadium, we're going to have viewing sites with big screen TVs. It's going to be very festive. It's going to be uh, more like a, uh, a happening than, uh, than just a sports event. So. Vendors and businesses that want to be a part of this huge initiative, especially the, these watch party areas, who should they get in contact with? How can they get involved in the process? Well, they can get in touch with our Department of Parks and Recreation through NassauCountyNY.gov. Uh, they can email us. Uh, first of all, the International Cricket Council, they are the number one group. So once they figure out everything they're doing, 
we will supplement them and we will add additional uh, venues for other events and then we'll have a uh, better understanding of what we'll need from outside vendors. Wonderful. Congratulations again. So Thank much. you. First of all, Harry Singh Bola Ji, you have told us that you are leading such an event in such an important event. What are you going to do with this chairmanship and this initiative? Yes, I am very excited. Because this is a big position that is very honorable. It is very honorable. I just recently became a new uh, cricket fan. I was born in 1997. Uh, not I follow cricket for a long time, but I think the most important to talk about this event in the hosting in us as in the South Asian community, Indian community, Punjabi community, it's a great honor for me to be elected as a chairman and hosting committee. I think the best thing we could do, being a living resident of Vanessa County, we can talk more about being here as an American than more than Indian or Punjabi or South Asian. I represent the government of Nassau County. So I'm hosting in the behalf of the county, behalf of the governments. Being in Punjabi, I feel proud. They elected me to serve as a chairman. So we are super excited. It's a great event. It certainly is looking up to be a great event and the amount of hard work that's going on behind the scenes. We have from the town of Hempstead, Ragni Srivastri. First of all, how excited are you that this is happening in the neighborhood? What message do you have for our viewers that are local to this area? Thank you for giving me this opportunity so I can share my happiness and excitement. First of all, I want to thank the chair of our committee, uh, Bruce Blakeman, our county executive, for bringing this wonderful opportunity for this county. This is not only going to bring revenue, but it's also going to bring people together. You know, and this will give us all an opportunity to understand a very beautiful diversity of our county. And second, people like me who were born and grew up in India is going to bring nostalgic memories back. You know, all the, those uh, crazy things that uh, we were uh, doing with uh, cricket. And, um, you know, believe me, what I think is in South Asian countries and other countries where cricket, they play cricket, it's not just a game, though it's a very unique, very popular sport. It's not just a sport, it's a culture. And it's not just played nationally or internationally, it's played everywhere and anywhere. So very, very happy and excited and thank you. Thank you. And lastly, no matter how great an initiative is, nothing moves forward without the numbers making sense. Comptroller, I have to know, what do the numbers spell for Nassau County, especially going into this year with the economy the way it's been? What kind of a boost will this event bring for the county and its residents? So thank you for asking that question, because this is going to be a tremendous boost for Nassau County. And every dollar that these events bring in are one more dollar that our taxpayers don't have to pay out of their own pockets. So we could not be more excited. Thank you, County Executive Bruce Blakeman. Thank you, the ICC, on behalf of all taxpayers, because this is a huge economic boom. We are so proud to host this in Nassau County. And we all look forward to it. Thank you so much again for your hard work.